Hi, this is Mike K from Scratch, and welcome to episode two of Bad Game Dev No Cookie. A look at uh, common game design mistakes in games you may have played. Today we're looking at uh, Space Marine uh, from Relic Entertainment, released in 2011. And first off, let me make this clear right up front. The series does not mean a game is bad. It means it made a mistake that is bad. And this one is particularly egregious to a certain segment of the population. And the fact that that certain segment of the population includes me makes this important to me anyways. Now you'll actually find there's a fairly large number of us and if you're not afflicted you're not going to notice this. But if you are afflicted you're probably nearing nauseated vomiting at this point in time. I certainly know I am. And there's something to do with um, third person view specifically. They're definitely susceptible to this. Third person view with a locked camera for sure. And those two things combined with what we're talking about today are killer. Um, basically it comes down to, I don't know if you experienced it, when you've gone to see a movie that has kind of bad 3D, your brain rejects it. Uh, even the Avatar, which is vaunted for its 3D graphics, had scenes in it where the, where the simulation kind of fell apart. And I know a lot of people that were in the theater that got sick, they had to take the glasses off, it wasn't it was causing headaches or whatever, because your brain rejects what's going on. In this case, and we're going through the settings right now, and the culprit isn't here. Now you see, this is a console port. It came from the world of consoles, and that is important to what we're going on. So I'm searching here for the setting that would fix all this, and it's not there. And that setting is field of view. The entire point of this lesson is field of view. Now field of view is part of the calculation of your camera. Basically, you're saying, this is the arc my camera can see, see from. So when your camera frustrum, when you're working in 3D, the amount that your camera captures, well, the angle of that is determined by the field of view. And field of view is traditionally set um, if you're on a PC, it's probably about 90 degrees. If you're on a console, it's about 60 degrees. Now the challenge is when you take a console application and you stick it on a PC, field of view comes into play. And for certain, a large portion of the population actually, no fault, no problem, no nothing. But for a lot of us, um, your game is going to make us throw up. And that's a bit of a negative. You know, as far as uh, well, what did you like about this game? Well, it had great graphics, uh, gameplay was good, made me throw up twice. Not something you want to read in a review. And truth of the matter is, if you search for Space Marine, search for Space Marine Field of View, Space Machine, Mo Space Marine Motion Sickness, etc., uh, etc., et you will find thousands and thousands of hits. This is not something that affects just a few people. It's actually fairly pervasive. Now, it does seem to be most predominant in that locked camera over the shoulder view third person, but it does apply um, to first person view games as well and floating camera views uh, as well. So uh, playing, for example, uh, Grand Theft Auto with a locked camera over your shoulder with a set field of view would probably make the same people sick, but that camera is also pulled back or first person in Grand Theft Auto 5, and I also think it's configurable, so it doesn't cause the same effect. So it's that uh, that combination. Now, other games have definitely fallen prey to this. By no means is Space Marine unique. Um, Dead Island is another one. Dead Island had that set camera uh, with a bad field of view. It, it really hurt you. Now, to go back to the console versus PC, again, consoles tend to be about 60 degrees, while a PC's field of view is normally up around 90. And the big difference is a PC is traditionally viewed from a foot or two away on a smaller screen. And this is changing. We're actually slowly getting larger and larger monitors or playing our PC on a console, um, like experience maybe with um, Steam, uh, Big Picture, or you know a similar approach. Uh, but that's actually just making making the field of view configurable an even more important design decision. Now there are ramifications. You set the field of view um, in a single player. Who cares? Um, you know your framing of a shot. You may have to take over it for if you want to do a fixed shot to make sure that it you know matches your directorial uh, taste. But during gameplay. A higher field of view means you can see more. Single player shouldn't really be a matter. Uh, multiplayer, definitely a big deal. And that, there are definitely ramifications there. And this is one of those things that for years and years and years, uh, pro players have been jacking up the field of view up to like nearly 180 degrees type thing. So they have 100% perfect peripheral vision. Now it looks like crap, but they can also see you seconds before you can see them, which is obviously a bit of an unfair advantage. So allowing the user to unlock field of view has ramifications in a multiplayer game for sure. And there are ways around it. Now I would also even recommend making it a configurable setting. Even if you have to black bar it to a, you know make it a comparable experience, making it so players 
that get motion sickness from a bad field of view can still play your game is probably critical. Now, to put this in perspective, I have never returned a game on Steam. Uh, I've never tried to return a game on Steam, but if I bought Space Marine or a game like Space Marine today and I suffered the same thing now with the return policy, it's going back for sure. And I imagine this is true of many people that suffer from the same affliction. So you're basically writing off a good chunk of your PC user base by not making field of view configurable. So definitely be aware of this. So once again, this is not necessarily saying that Space Marine was a bad game. It wasn't. It was a very good game. And ironically, when I played it on the PlayStation 3, kicked back on my couch, the, the motion sickness never kicked in. And another thing to be aware of here is I don't suffer from motion sickness. This is just a bad simulation that triggers this for me. Um, it's the same way as if I went back and played Doom today, I would probably be sick within seconds because I, my brain just expects more from a computer simulation now. And it's probably going to get worse and worse and worse as we expect, you know, as we come closer and closer through the uncanny valley, when there is a mistake in a sim, the people who, whose minds are susceptible to picking up on those mistakes, who will then reject the simulation and get dizzy or sick or whatever from playing these games, is only going to expand. Um, and I gotta imagine when VR kicks in, this is going to become incredibly relevant or irrelevant. Actually, it could go, it could actually solve the problem. It's going to be interesting to see. But this is one of those things that you should definitely be aware of. And if you're a game guy and you actually have access to someone like me who um, is susceptible to this, just like if you have access to someone who is colorblind, it is a pass that you should run your game through. You know, basically get someone, get a couple people to play your game, especially if you have a fixed third-person camera, and say, is this making you feel uncomfortable? Because you'll be amazed how much just changing by a few degrees will change the game for everybody. And of course, making a figure roll so they can make it as good as they get is definitely uh, a great option. Now, again, solving the multiplayer conundrum of, you know, if you make field of view a configurable setting, uh, you're going to give an advantage to certain people. That is definitely something you need to look into. Uh, you research it. There are options out there way beyond the scope of what I want to cover today. I just want you to make, it, make you aware of this setting because, you know, again, making it so your game literally makes people sick is probably a bit of a mistake. Uh, so that's it. That's um, Bad Game Dev, No Cookie. Uh, today looking at Field of View in Space Marine, uh, released by uh, Relic Entertainment in 2011, but by no means can find it. It also applies to, as I said, uh, Dead Island and uh, several other games. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that. See you all later.